Operations at the Hennepin County Dispatch Center are back to normal today, but yesterday evening things looked a bit different for a while. Run me through what the heck happened yesterday. Sure. So yesterday we were notified uh, about a 911 disruption or outage. Um, we didn't know if it was uh, originally just Hennepin County. Quickly, it became clear this was a nationwide 911 outage. Hennepin County, one of many jurisdictions affected. It was identified that that, that we were starting to receive 911 calls. Um, I think it was within about a half hour of the uh, notification to us. Um, and we were on calls and we were discussing um, with the state and CenturyLink and the other 911 centers um, of, of the affected uh, 911 uh, lines. Attention Brooklyn Center duty crew. For so it was about a half hour that we really saw that we were starting to receive 911 calls, um, but that we, we did notice that there was still some misroutes uh, and uh, that it was not 100%. In a statement, the Minnesota Department of Public Safety said, quote, 135 calls to 24 Minnesota Public Safety Answering Points, or PSAPs, failed to be routed during the 48-minute disruption. They say the state's 911 provider, CenturyLink, had an issue with a vendor failing to correctly forward calls, leaving Minnesotans to pull up and dial a traditional 10-digit non-emergency number if they needed help. It is a lesson learned if, if you don't have that I, I would really uh, reinforce because you might not always uh, be notified that 911 is not working you might be that first caller that that we don't even know that there's an issue yet why is it on the public to memorize that other phone number because <laughs> sometimes people don't even know their significant others phone numbers these days technology is out there and technology can fail at times um, you know, especially uh, the old uh, landline that used to have the copper wire uh, telephone to telephone. Um, that that's a thing of the past. Um, and I think, you know, is this one thing that technology has surpassed us? Um, I, I don't know. One thing Martin does know, even for him, last night's outage was scary. That's kind of your last call for help that that a lot of people believe that um, they need place fire ambulance. And, and that's what we train people at a young age is call 911. Uh, and the fact that that is no longer available, um, it, it's a scary thought. Cross streets, Shingle Creek Parkway, Xerxes Avenue. So to protect yourself, he recommends at least knowing the non-emergency line to one police department if and when this happens again. I hope we never have to use that backup, but as we saw yesterday, um, that you know, we might have that in the future as well. As for what exactly caused the outage, individual agencies like the one over here at Hennepin County aren't privy to that information given that this was a nationwide problem. But state officials as well as the commissioner of the FCC has asked for efforts to get to the bottom of it. But given the scale of this outage, it might be more than just a few days before we find out any answers. Jana. Martin also told Sharon they're still figuring out how many calls were missed just in Hennepin County during the outage last night.